my name is Sarika Tulsiani and today in this video we are going to solve a few questions on mixtures and allegations. In the previous few videos we have seen the concepts of averages, mixtures, allegations and we have also seen some sums on averages. So in today's video we are going to solve a few questions on mixtures and allegations. So let's start with the first question. What does it say? It says salt price at 9 rupees per kg is mixed with salt price at 16 rupees per kg to obtain a mixture priced at 12.75 rupees per kg. Find the ratio in which the cheaper and the dearer varieties of salts are mixed. So if you have not seen the video of the basic concepts, first go and refer to the video and then come back to this video so that we can discuss the questions. Now what is this saying? Deco, you have three types of salt. One is the cheaper salt, one is the dearer salt and one is the mixture salt. The cheaper salt costs 9 rupees per kg. Okay, the cheaper salt costs 9 rupees per kg. The dearer salt costs rupees 16 per kg. And the price of the mixture is rupees 12.75. So the price of the mixture is 12.75. They are asking you in what ratio are they mixing the cheaper and dearer. So what will I do? I'll take a cross. Okay? So this will be 16 minus 12.75. This will become 3.25. This will be 12.75 minus 9. So 12.75 minus 9 will give you 3.75. What will I do? I'll take the ratio of these two. So this is the ratio in which you're going to mix your cheaper quantity and dearer quantity. So if we simplify this, it will be 325 upon 375, multiplying both by 100. Now what next will come? Both of them are divisible by 25. So I will have 25 ones are, okay? So 75 which are 25 threes are. Again, this is 25 ones are, this is 12, 125 which are, so this is 25 fives are. So your answer becomes 13 is to 15. So in this ratio, you're going to mix your cheaper and dearer salts together. Now let's have a look at the next question. What does it say? It says a vessel of capacity 100 liters is fully filled with pure milk. Okay? So you had initially 100 liters of pure milk. 10 liters of milk is replaced with water. Okay? Now 10 liters of the solution is replaced with 10 liters of water. Find the quantity of pure milk in the resulting solution. So what are they saying? You have 100 liters of pure milk. Okay? First you replace 10 liters with water. Then again you replace 10 liters with water. What is the final amount of milk in the solution? Last time in the previous video, I have given you a direct formula for that. It says the amount of milk remaining is given by the formula x into 1 minus y by x raised to n. x is your initial milk which is 100 liters. 1 minus. y is the amount of milk you are replacing. So we are replacing 10 liters. Upon x ka value is 100. How many times did we do this? We did this twice. So raised to 2. n is your number of times you are replacing. So this will be 100 into 0, 0 will get cancelled. 1 minus 1 by 10 will become 9 upon 10 the whole square. So this will be 100 into 81 upon 100. Your 100, 100 will get cancelled. Your answer is 81 liters. This is the amount of milk remaining in the solution. Let's look at the next question. What does it say? It says... If 12 kg of rice, which costs 24 rupees per kg, is mixed with 6 kg of rice, which costs 27 rupees per kg, what is the cost of the resulting mixture? Okay? You can use all this sum by the weighted average method also. But since we are dealing about, we are talking about mixtures and allegations, let's try to solve this sum by allegation method. Let's see what 
उन्होंने क्या बोला है 12 के जीज ऑफ राइस कॉस्टिंग ट्वेंटी फोर रुपीज पर के जी इज मिक्स विद सिक्स के जीज ऑफ राइस कॉस्टिंग ट्वेंटी सेवन रुपीज पर के जी देर आस्किंग यू वॉट इज द कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द रिजल्टिंग मिक्सचर सो योर चीपर राइस कॉस्ट ट्वेंटी फोर रुपीज पर के जी डियर राइस कॉस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवन रुपीज पर के जी कॉस्ट ऑफ द मिक्सचर वी डोंट नो लेट्स कॉल इट एक्स ठीक है वॉट विल आई डू आई टेक अ क्रॉस so this will be 27 minus x is to this will be x minus 24 and for 24 rupees they are taking 12 kgs and for 27 rupees they are taking 6 kgs so the ratio of prices is the same as ratio of quantities so 12 is to 6 is the same as 2 is to 1 so what will you get you will get 27 minus x upon x minus 24 is equal to 2 is to 1. What can we do? We will cross multiply. So this will be 27 minus x is equal to this will be 2x minus 48. So 2x plus x will become 3x is equal to 27 plus 48. 7 plus 8 will be 15. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So seven is equal to three x. So your x will be twenty five rupees. So the cost of this mixture is going to be twenty five rupees, and that is your answer. Now let's look at the next question. What does it say? It says two varieties of rice costing rupees twenty and twenty five rupees per kg are mixed. If the mixture cost rupees twenty three per kg. And the quantity of cheaper used for mixing is twelve kgs. Find the quantity of the dearer variety. ठीक है, so they've given you the cheaper price which is twenty rupees. They've given you the dearer price which is twenty five rupees. The price of the mixture given is twenty three rupees. What do we do? We take a cross. So this will be twenty five minus twenty three which is two, and this will be twenty three minus twenty which is three. So your ratio becomes two is to three. What else are they saying? They are saying if the cheaper quantity is twelve kgs, what is the dearer quantity? See, this is your cheaper quantity. This is your dearer quantity. So cheaper stands for two. So dearer stands for three. But they are saying cheaper ka quantity jo hai, wo twelve kgs hai. So if two means twelve kgs, three means how much? Two sixa is twelve. Three sixa will become eighteen kgs. So that's your answer. So this is how you can solve this problem. Let's look at the next question. What does it say? Two vessels contain milk and water in the ratios five is to two and four is to one. So you have two vessels. Vessel one contains milk and water in the ratio five is to two. Vessel two contains it in the ratio four is to one. Now they are saying find the quantity of mixture from the first vessel to be mixed with 20 liters of the mixture from the second vessel so that the ratio of mixture formed has milk and water in the ratio 3 is to 1 okay in the ratio 3 is to 1 now what do we do from here you are drawing 20 liters okay as per the ratio the total is 4 plus 1 which is 5 But actually, it is twenty liters. So can I say five means twenty liters? If five means twenty liters, one will mean four liters because five four is as twenty, and this will mean sixteen liters because four four is as sixteen. So you are drawing sixteen liters from here and four liters from here. Final ratio of milk and water should be three to one. Okay? Let's say I withdraw five x from here and two x from here. तो टोटल मिल्क कितना होगा टोटल मिल्क विल बी फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन एंड टोटल वॉटर विल बी टू एक्स प्लस फोर एंड आई विल टेक दिस रेशियो दिस रेशियो शुड बी इक्वल टू थ्री इज टू वन ठीक है सो वॉट विल हैपन फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्सटीन अपॉन टू एक्स प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू थ्री इज टू वन वी विल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई So you will have five x plus sixteen is equal to six x plus twelve. So finally, it will be six minus five, which is x, 
is equal to 16 minus 12 which is 4. Your x ka value is 4. But what are they saying? What is the quantity you are withdrawing from the first vessel? First vessel say you are withdrawing 5x and 2x. So you are withdrawing 7x. 7x, x ka value is 4. So it becomes 28 liters. That's your answer. Let's look at the next question. What does it say? It says, A lent two sums of money, both at simple interest, one at 10% per annum and other at 24% per annum to B and C respectively. The total sum lent was rupees 7000 and the total interest he received at the end of the year was 1260. Find the sum A lent at 24%. So you know, you have A, he lends money at two interest rates which are 10% and 24%. The total interest he receives is 1260 for 7000 rupees. So understand, the interest which he gets is 1260. And the principal invested is 7000 rupees. They are asking you, how much did he lend at 24%? So your cheaper quantity is going to be 10%. Dearer quantity is going to be 24%. Now, in order to calculate the answer, you should know this middle value. Middle value is the overall rate of interest. But overall rate of interest, how do you get it? From here, principal is 7000, interest is 1260. We know the formula for simple interest, which is PRN upon 100. So your interest is 1260, principal is 7000, rate I don't know, number of years is 1 upon 100. So zeros will get cancelled, this zero, this zero will get cancelled. So your rate will be 126 upon 7. So this is 7 ones are and 7 eights are. So it is 18%. This is the overall rate of interest. So 18% will come here. What will I do? Take across again. So 24 minus 18 will give me 6. 18 minus 10 will give me 8. 6 is to 8 is the same as 3 is to 4. They are asking you out of the entire 7000 rupees, how much did he lend at 24%? Right? The ratio is 3 is to 4. Right? So as per the ratio, the total is 7. But actually the money lent is 7000. So if 7 means 7,000, can I say 4 will mean 4,000 rupees. So he lent 4,000 rupees at 24% per annum. That's your answer. Look at the next question. What does it say? It says a man purchased an iPhone and a OnePlus for 75,000 rupees and gained 30% on selling both. If the profit on selling the iPhone and the OnePlus is 20% and 45% respectively, find the cost price of OnePlus. Okay. So what is happening? Dekho. He made a total purchase of 75,000 rupees. Okay. On selling the first product, which is iPhone, he made 20% profit. On selling the second product, which is your OnePlus, he made 45% profit. The overall profit given uh, is 30% because they are saying it is the gain on both. So what do I do? I take a cross. 40 mi 45 minus 30 is 15%. 30 minus 20 is 10%. I take the ratio. The ratio becomes 3 is to 2, right? The question is, how much, what was the cost price of OnePlus? This is for iPhone, this is for OnePlus. As per the ratio, the total is 3 to 2, right? As per the ratio, the total is 5. But actually, the total is 75,000. Okay? If 5 means 75,000, can I say 1 will mean 15,000? Correct? 5 is 75, 1 will mean 15,000. So, if 1 ka matlab 15,000, can I say 2 ka matlab will be 30,000? So, the cost price of 1 plus was 30,000. And that is the answer. Final question. What does it say? It says there are two vessels A and B. Vessel A contains 80 liters of pure milk. B contains 40 liters of water. 
So A contains 80 liters of milk, B contains 40 liters of water. Okay, what is Now 10% of the quantity from A is removed and poured into B. So 10% of 80, 10% of 80 will be 8 liters of milk is removed from here and you add it here. So you have 40 liters of milk, sorry 40 liters of water plus 8 liters of milk. Yahan pe remaining kitna hoga? It will be 80 minus 8 which is 72 liters of milk. What are they saying further? Now uh, later 25% of the mixture from B is removed and poured into A. Find the quantity of milk in vessel A now. Now what are they saying? 25% of this solution is removed and poured into A. What is the quantity of milk here? Okay? Now understand the total accounts to 48 liters, 40 of water, 8 of milk. Now if I ask you what is the ratio of water and milk? 40 is to 8 means 5 is to 1. Now when you withdraw 20, when you withdraw 25 percent, 25 percent means 1 fourth of 48 liters is removed. 1 fourth of 48 liters means 12 liters is removed. As per the ratio, the total is 6, but actually it is 12 liters. So 6 means 12 liters. If 6 means 12, can I say 5 will mean 10 and 1 will mean 2. So 10 liters of water and 2 liters of milk are going to go there. They are asking you what is the final amount of milk here? You already had 72 liters. Now we are adding 2 liters more. So it will be 72 plus 2. So your answer will be 74 liters of milk. And this is your solution. So these were the questions on mixtures and allegations. If you have certain doubts or if you want me to make videos on certain specific topics, please do mention them in the comment section below. I will try my best to make videos on those topics. And if you like the video, if you found it to be helpful in any manner, please do subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much.